Hi Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Um, a lot of depth to this person and they feel a lot, but it's almost, we'll clarify further with the mixed emotions because with this energy it can go either or, where this can sometimes talk about jealous, possessive, clingy behavior, but I don't do reversal, so we'll clarify. But right now, I'm all I'm seeing is someone who's in love with you. They, but there's something blocking them from reaching you. Um, but this person does go up and down with that two of pentacles, ten of pentacles. It's almost as if they're confused. I'm not sure if they're seeing you clearly. We do have Neptune um, influencing them here. Uh, that's, that can sometimes mean someone seeing the other with rose-colored glasses. But it's a very contradictory, contradicting energy that they're feeling. We have Neptune where they dream about you. They think about happily ever after. But it's almost as if Saturn um, throws a blanket on their dreams. Um, something is holding them back. Um, perhaps this this connection is easier um, in their imagination, but when it comes to reality, there's there's something in the way. It's complicated, is what I'm seeing. But this person is also also quite threatened by your independence. Um, they do feel a certain way about you. Um, I know Aquarius need a lot of alone time. And perhaps that is why they're they're feeling a bit left out or withdrawn because of that with withdrawal here. But a lot of I'm not seeing much action, but a lot of uh, dreaming, uh, daydreaming type of energy coming from them. We do have blocked from love, so there may be emotional baggage from the past blocking you from true love. It's time to release it. Um, I'm not sure where the blockage is coming from because this person seems to be quite open to you and we have new romance new love will find its way to you there's an opportunity to experience a positive new beginning if this person feels cut off or blocked from you they they may be attempting to find new love elsewhere but their emotions still lie with you um, is what I'm getting, Aquarius. We do have naughtiness here at the bottom of the deck, so there is still some uh, physical attraction, but let's clarify with the mixed emotions and we can talk about this further. Yeah, they, they're they still hurt over this connection. I'm not getting a negative vibe from this person. They seem very beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of love this person has for you, but something's uh, getting in the way. Um, they're very grateful for all the memories that they shared with you. Um, any lessons they may have learned, they're, they're grateful for your um, presence in their life. But we have grief here, so sorrowful, heartbroken, bereaved. Why? See, Queen of Cups can be, I'm sensing now that she's like this. It's almost as if this person's trying to move on from you and find a new love, but they're blocked because they need to heal. They're not open because they, they still have a lot of healing to do in regards to you, Aquarius. If I'm sensing there's a distance here and there's external um, factors with Saturn um, that are in the way of you two coming together. We have guilty, 
so this person could be feeling guilty in some so yeah we have calm compassion jealous confident yeah this person's as i said earlier they're threatened by your independence but they're also very uh, possessive over you with that queen of cups in reverse a very sad energy you're both feeling guilty hmm similar energy um i think you're avoiding this person but there we have longing so yearning wistful homesick um i'm not sure what is happening here but you're both missing each other there's emotion here but you're avoiding them for some reason it's best i maintain a distance between you and i i'll continue to watch you from a distance okay if this person is trying pushing you away they still have their eye on you um they're very their heart lies with you um they are trying to distract themselves here with the more practical matters or saturn their 10th house so their career any work they do but it's difficult for them um, it's almost as if they're avoiding healing whatever that their internal struggles and they're um, attempting to divert their attention into other aspects of their life. But in the long run, this isn't helpful to them. And then we have, I want to get to know you better before I make the final decision. Yeah, this person isn't seeing you clearly, Aquarius, with Neptune there. There's a lot of illusions in regards to you but yeah they're undecided unsure in regards to you and then we have for your advice decisions it's time to get off the fence and make a decision choose an option or solution that you know can live with that you know you can live with and to and stick to it make a commitment i'm not sure this energy seems it could be aquarius that you, this is more of a cross watcher read but if it's resonating, it's telling you that telling you that the power lies in your hands. Because this person is, they want you, but I think perhaps you don't want them. Is this unrequited love? I'm not sure what's going on here. But uh, the power lies in your hand, and you need to make a decision in regards to this person. And for your advice, we have Supernova 8 number eight i'll read this to you so it says when the time comes to let go you'll feel it people or situations will not be able to reach you or you them even if you are making an effort to try and stay connected previous support systems and connections won't be able to support you anymore on the next steps of your journey it's like they are training wheels that are no longer needed they would just get in the way so you have gratitude for what was and with love you let it go yeah, I'm getting you, you're letting this person go and they're having a hard time, but you're also having a hard time letting them go. But it's for the best for both of you. The Oracle of, Sup of Supernova reminds you that after the intensity of the birth, there is another birth of sorts, the settling into a new pattern of life at a higher altitude with more peace, effortlessness and consciousness. Each phase happens naturally and you'll feel when and how to respond to each phase in your life as you trust yourself. Yeah, you two aren't on the same page and I think you're drifting apart. But you're both having a hard time letting each other go. There's love here for sure. You're missing them. And they feel the same way about you. But that is what I have for you Aquarius. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, if it resonates, do like and comment. Otherwise, take care of yourself and I will see you later. Bye.